Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about prepositions. Let us read the following sentences. I want the book on the box. I want the book under the box. I want the book in the box. I want the book beside the box. I want the book behind the box. I want the book beyond the box. Do you notice any word in these sentences which does not belong to any of the classes of words which we have studied? I is a pronoun. Want is a verb. The is an adjective. Book is a noun. The is an adjective. Box is a noun. But the words on under, in, beside, behind, and beyond are not nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, or pronouns. Yet, the words would it be possible to express the meaning in these sentences without these words? Read the sentences without them, and you will see that no one could tell the relation which you wish to express between the book and the box. And you will notice too that each word expresses a different relation for it means one thing to say on the box and another thing to say in the box and so through the list. The words which are used to show this relation are called prepositions. The group of words introduced by the preposition like on the box and in the box and so on are called prepositional phrases. The nouns which follows a preposition as box follows the preposition in, on, beside, beyond, and etc. is called the object of the preposition. Preposition is a word which comes into our language from the Latin. It is formed from the Latin pre, which means before, and the Latin verb, which means to place. So, prepositions means literally to place before. It is given this name because it is placed before the noun or pronoun which is its object. Therefore, our definition of a preposition is as follows. A preposition is a word that shows the relation of its object to some other word. Either a noun or a pronoun may be the object of a preposition. Let us read the following sentences. Bring the book to me. Lay the book on the table. He will speak to you. I will speak to the man. In these sentences, the noun table is the object of the preposition. On. The pronoun me is the object of the preposition to, and in the last two sentences, the pronoun you and the noun man are the objects of the preposition to. There are not many prepositions in the language and they are easily learned and easily distinguished. Here is a list of the most common and the most important prepositions used in one sentence. At, across, 
around, about, among, and above. And this time, we will be having again our next exercise. You can download it for free. Just add me on your friend's Facebook account and you will see automatically the, the Google Drive link or the Google download link that is posted on this particular video. If you are watching this video in Facebook groups, you will only see the download link on my Facebook page. Just do not forget to add me again on your Facebook friends list. Alright, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!